Welcome to the Titus Timeout Podcast. My name is Sean White, and today I will be discussing valve packages for the Fancool product line. And specifically in the valve packages, we will be going into details on the stringer device. As you can see here, this is a full-blown valve package for a two-pipe Fancool unit. If you had a four-pipe Fancool unit, you would simply double everything you see here. But we're only showing one coil. And all of the options and features and valves that we offer for basically a fully loaded valve package. This would be the Cadillac. Over the coming weeks, we'll go over different components one at a time. But for today, I wanted to discuss the strainer. The strainer you can kind of see on the supply line down at the bottom. So what does the strainer do? Well, it pretty much does exactly what its name implies. It strains the water system using a wire mesh to help get out particulates. Now you can kind of see in the picture there a cylindrical wire mesh cartridge that's been pulled out of a brass valve body. The, the openings, the holes in the wire mesh are relatively large. They can probably take out larger particles like some sand and, and, and solder material that may have broken loose while, during the welding process uh, or large objects like that very very small fine silt like materials and, and dissolved molecules will go right through but that's not its intent its intent is for large particulates so what we can see here is you can kind of see in the red boxes where it's located it's always going to be on the supply line directly after the shutoff valve in between the, the building's connection you can see that the strainer will always be installed just after the ball valve, which is just after the building's water supply connection point. We want the strainer to be the first component to see water flow before the water hits the other valve components and goes to the coil and exits the fan coil. This of course is kind of like a filter on your air conditioning unit at your house. You want to do your filtration up front. We want to catch any of the bad particulates before they go on through the rest of the water system and through the fan coil unit, just like a filter on your air conditioning unit in your house, you want to get collect all that dust and particles and pollen and whatnot before that air goes through the coil of the air handling unit and prevent it from clogging the coil. You can see in the picture here that in the bottom right hand corner you can see a picture of a blowdown valve attached to the strainer cartridge and that's for cleaning purposes. In the upper photo you can see the cartridge is removed and the wire mesh can be blown out at that point. The fundamental question here is should a fan coil unit have a strainer? Well the answer is yes. A fan coil unit should always have a strainer. The real question is who should provide that? Should that be provided by Titus or should that be provided in the field by a valve contractor? Well, generally, if the product is relatively small, say 10, 15, 20, or 30 fan coil units, it's usually easier to just order the strainer from Titus and we'll install it and check it for leaks there at our factory and we'll mount it to the fan coil unit itself. So each fan coil unit, if it's a four pipe unit, will have two strainers. The issue comes in whether we should provide it or others should provide the strainer is when you get to very, very large projects. So imagine, you know, that same 30 fan coil unit project that's a four pipe. That means there's going to be 60 strainers that have to be periodically cleaned. Not a huge task, but a little bit of work. Every fan coil unit will have to be shut down, the water supply is shut off, and the wire mesh pulled out and cleaned. So 60 strainers to be cleaned isn't that, you know, isn't that daunting of a task. Maybe a week, depending on how difficult the units are to get to. Now let's imagine a very, very large hotel, like say the Gaylord National Harbor outside of Washington, D.C., which has over 2,000 four-pipe fan coil units. It's going to be over 4,000 strainers that have to be cleaned. It could take a year to clean all those. You have to shut down the room, make sure there's no occupants in there, get in there, clean the strainers, and then basically get back out. 
depending on how big your maintenance crew is, you could do it faster, but it wouldn't surprise me if it took you know, nine months, ten months, even a year to do all of them. And then kind of at that point, you may have to just turn around and start working all over again. For large installations like that, we recommend putting gigantic strainers there at the chiller and the boiler plant and leaving the strainers off the fan cool units themselves. Or you can leave the strainers at the fan cool unit themselves, they just won't have to be cleaned nearly as often if you have much larger strainers that are straining the entire water supply at the chiller and at the boiler. So generally, small projects, it's okay to put the strainers on the fan coil units themselves and have them supplied by Titus and, and welded and leak tested, but for the large projects, it's much better to get large strainers at the boiler and the chiller. Well, that is a brief summary of strainers on fan coil units. I hope this is helpful. In future podcasts, we'll go over other components in the valve package overall scheme. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and thanks for taking any time out with us.